Susu, what's happening? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jannard and I do all things Sims 4. And today we're gonna show you how to add mods and custom content to your Sims 4 game. So let's jump right into it. So, but first let me just tell you what custom content and mods are. Mods are basically anything that enhances your gameplay outside of what EA has already given you with the expansion packs, game packs, or stuff packs. So this is like more like gamer custom generated modifications to your game. So this can be anything from a trait, emotion, or buff, or any type of enhanced gameplay. And with custom content, custom content is kind of like anything that is like a wallpaper or a towel or hair or lips or anything that dealing with cast or building by objects so anything like that is considered custom content so that's pretty much the difference between a mod and a custom content so how do you find mods and custom content? So you can search it. Um, if you have a lot of people that you follow, they usually rave about specific mods and custom content that they have. I know that the Sims resources are really good way to find custom content if you're looking for something specific. Also, Pinterest is a good way to figure out, find new ways of finding custom content. But let's get right on into it. Let's just show you how to download a mod. It's super easy. Once you find the mod that you want and you're on the website, you just go in and then you just download it and i'm gonna show you how to do that now so basically i'm gonna just go in here and i'm going to go ahead and download the mc command center this is like one of my favorite mods and a lot of people already have this mod in their game if they're modding or if they have mods or whatever so basically what you want to do is obviously find the most recent mod that is update and current and then go ahead and download that my download path i just keep it simple and generic it goes straight to my download folder so i just know where it's at every time and most time in most cases Cases, the mods are usually in a zip file or some type of compressed file that you're gonna have to extract once it's downloaded it can either be a dot zip or it can be a dot rar those are the most common ones and then from there you're gonna have to have some way to extract it like either a zip type archiver or whatever it may be and I can just leave links to that down in the description below so all my downloaded stuff goes straight to my download folder so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and unzip it and here's the unzipped file here so i'm going to just double click it and then all of a sudden it goes into a folder like that and then here's all the scripted stuff you need so yeah like i said mods usually you're going to have a script and maybe some package but um, most of the time they will probably have a script so these are all the things that i'm going to have to drag into my mods folder and i'm going to show you that here too shortly so here's the folder that i'm going to actually copy into my mods folder now that you have your file downloaded and it's already extracted and let me show you how you find your mod folder within ea and the sims so first of all it's usually found for mac and pc it's usually found oh by the way mods and uh, cc is only for pc and mac at the moment there's no way you're going to be able to add mods and custom content to your console um, from what I know, but I know for PC and Mac you can do this. So let's get right back into it for Mac At least I know that it's in the documents and then there's an electronic arts folder So we'll just click on electronic arts and then we'll click on the sims folder and then within the sims folder There's a mods folder and that's exactly where you're gonna copy and paste all your mods and your packages And so I'm gonna go back to my downloads and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy this folder into my mods folder within the ea and the sims folder so i'm gonna go ahead and copy that so now i have this M mcc mod into my game at the moment and i can open this and i have everything in there uh, so what i normally do is i usually try to keep my mods and my cc all within maybe one folder deep so this is basically one folder into your mods folder and so I usually try to keep it like that. And if in rare cases, I might go two folders in, but typically I like to just keep it all under within one folder in. So with that being said, I will typically create, for CC at least, I will create like a hair folder. I will create like a shirt or let's just say it's like furniture folder or miscellaneous folder. And then I'll drop all the package files from that custom content within whatever subfolder that I have it for. So, all right, so let me just go ahead and download a custom content thing so I can show you what that looks like as well. 
like I mentioned before, it's like there's a couple websites that you can go to or you can just simply search, but I like going to the Sims resource website because I find like I can find a lot of good items there. But again, Pinterest is really good. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go into Google and then just search something specific that I might want. So let's just say I want, because I like the band no effects, so let's just go with like no effects, uh, band, the CC, the Sims 4 or something like that. So here's, so I found this CC here that allowed me to download. So I'll go in. Oh yeah, be careful where you download to because some places I don't know if I would be comfortable downloading it. So just make sure you track your sources and also check the date because some of these, this custom content might be outdated. So when you do get those, you will see that there'll be an error in your creative Sims. Um, so be just be on a lookout for that. All right, so I already unzipped it, and here's the package here. It's got like one, two, three, four. It has four different package files for this custom content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this like we did before with the mod, and then I'm gonna go to Documents, and I'm gonna go find that mod folder again, which is in Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then the Mods folder. And then from here, I might just go ahead and create a new folder, and I guess I'll just call it, let's just call it T-shirts. So I'll probably get a couple other ones like that too. So now I'm gonna just go in and I'm gonna just um, copy and paste it. And then there we go. Actually, I might just take it out of the folder that it's in and just keep it within that folder. Uh, let me just go in here and do that. I think what I might end up doing because I'm now I'm like two folders deep, I might just go ahead and take the package files and then just put it in within this, t -sh this uh, file here. And then that way I can just, uh, and then that way I can just go ahead and just delete that. And now I'm just one folder in within the mods folder, if that makes any sense. So now let's jump right into the game. Now that I have a mod and I also have a custom content, which are those NoFX t-shirts. So if it works, this is my first time actually downloading this, this piece of CC. We'll see if it works. So let's jump right into the game. I'm glad that I actually got this error. I actually got an error and it won't open my game. And sometimes if you download some CC or a mod and it's corrupt or it's outdated, it will probably not open up your game. So I actually got one of those alerts. Sometimes it'll actually tell you what CC or mod isn't working and it'll actually let you know. So I actually know because it's actually giving me the actual files that's corrupting or causing my game to not open. So I'm just gonna simply go in and all and just delete those files. I already did a backups and my backup is actually on my uh, in my on my desktop. So I'm gonna just go and grab that one. I actually labeled it 121. So I'm gonna just go in uh, and uh, grab the the CC that I know that works because this is actually all my mods and the CC that I have. It's just that I already deleted them out of my folder just to show you guys how to actually do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going here so I know these two right here work and I'm just gonna copy it and then go back into the um, mod folder and just add them into that t-shirt folder just so you can see um, that it actually works. All right, cool. So now I'm gonna go back and actually restart my game. All right, now if you did it right, it will give you a notification saying that Maxis does not pre-screen or support mods. Please use with your caution. And it will give you a long list of all your mods and custom content that you have in your game. Mostly the mods because there's those are mostly scripts, but also your custom content because those contain package files, so both. All right, so as you can see, I can just click on uh, the check mark here. So here's the thing, you're gonna actually have to enable your mods so they can work. So this is how you do that. I'm gonna go here in the game option so you can kind of see exactly what to, what to pick and what to choose. So what you do is go to other and make sure your script mods are allowed. And then if you check that, then obviously your custom content will be available. And then also enable custom content and mods. Make sure these two here are checked because if they're not checked, it won't work. You won't see the mod or you won't actually see the enhancement from the mods in your game and your custom content won't be available for you. So let me just show you the custom content real quick. Um, it was a t-shirt, so I know just to go into t-shirts and I'm just going to filter everything out just so that we can get there quickly to it. And then boom, there's your custom content there. The cust if the CC wasn't working, then it'll obviously show that there would be like some error here, like a little question mark on the face. So that's when you know that CC isn't working and you might as well delete it from your mods folder. 
So let me jump in the game real quick and show you uh, what you can do with the MCC Command Center. Yeah, so let me just show you the MC Command just to show you. See, it's already working because sometimes this will pop up letting you know like last exception called by MCC Command. So with the MC Command Center, I can basically go to a computer or a mailbox or I can even click on the sim and it'll just like take you quickly to like the uh, cast. It'll it'll allow you to do different things. So yeah, so the MC Command Center works. You can change the settings and all that good stuff. So, so yeah, so that's basically how you add mods and custom content to your sims for a game. And if you like everything you saw here, be sure to like and comment and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you. Peace!